I've been up and working till the morning, yeah. The morning. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. They storming. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, like foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan like on my it's way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me I can't. Alright, you guys, what is up? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Look, it's it's definitely bittersweet. I've, I've sat here for about 10 minutes, uh, you know, not really wanting to make this video because it's the last one. It's the last one of the series, guys. We've done 100. Well, actually 99. We're about to do our 100th reaction to Aaron Donald. Defensive tackle for the Rams. I heard about him throughout the season, you know, I think he might have got like 15, 18 sacks or something. Killing it on defense. But I didn't really look at him, you know, as much as I probably should have. One, for the fact that I was following running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks the most closely last year. I didn't really understand about the defensive line. I didn't really understand about the tackles, guards, centers. I didn't really, I didn't really look at them, to be honest. But now, now that my knowledge has come on a little bit, I can, you know, first of all, look at what the quarterback's doing. Look at what the running back's doing. Then, I, then my eyes spy to, to what the receivers are doing. Then it spies to, to what the linemen are doing. And I'm sort of slowly but surely working out, you know, where my eyes are meant to go on each play to follow it as closely as possible. But in the game of football, obviously, every player is doing their own job. And if every one of those 11 players does their job properly, then you should have some success, right? It's about... Knowing your role, it's about knowing your job and getting it done, play after play. And I think a guy like Aaron Donald would most likely be doing that. So look, I'm going to stop trying to actually sound like an American football coach right now because I'm an absolute rookie and we're just going to sit back and appreciate, um, you know, a guy like Aaron Donald, what he brings to the game, which is just beastliness. I think he went through the combine with the fastest... The fastest 40 yard dash for a lineman ever? I think we're gonna have to check that. All right, let's get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is uh, Let's go. Number one, baby. Uh, in your opinion, who's the number one player this year? Number one this year? Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald, for sure. Put Aaron out there. Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. I like to say Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's coming up all out. Aaron Donald's number one. First of all, facts. Facts, man. It's funny because he... He looks like a... But he looks like a teddy bear, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'd love to give him a hug, actually. Wow. Damn, man! How good! How good! NFL Top 100, number one player, 2019, as voted by his peers, Aaron Donald. That's crazy. How does it compare to the other trophies this year? Well, it's a good, it's an accomplishment, so, for, you know, be a player to thank you as, as that highly and thank you, number one. Number one player in the league, guys, the whole league. And it's not the fans voting. It's his peers, which makes it that much better, man. In the whole National Football League, that's the... Respect. It's pretty special, so... Do you watch this show? What do you think? Yeah, I watch it every year, I watch it. I love it. Do you watch Rugby Player Reacts to it, though? That's the question. Tune in. Number 99 of the Rams. <laughs> Just sort of poof for this play. Poof? Who? Who? Exactly. You don't get 20 sacks on that. Look at that neck! He's kind of like everything you wanted at the alignment. A guy that is just disruptive. He's disruptive in the run games. Whoa! Yeah, there's no stopping that. Disruptive in the pass game. Oh, and then he's got a 4.5 second 40. Nah. After setting an NFL record for sacks by a defensive tackle with 20 and a half, Aaron Donald played in his first Super Bowl. Man. <laughs> what 
Tom Brady did his best to avoid him. And he's going to get past the double team. Mm. Well, he tried to <laughs> double him, but uh, the dude's just unstoppable. Damn, man. He's like exploding off the ball. <laughs> and I think he's the best player in the league right now. Fuck! That's literally like a second. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, first of all, they didn't double him right away, which is probably the biggest issue. Is you probably want to get two people on him as soon as possible. And you can see the center there is putting a hand on Sue and then coming over. And if you don't block him with two guys, you're going to have a long day. Nothing much a quarterback can do there. Who's that, the Lions? He's pretty similar to Kulak. He's just kind of better than anyone else. And if you don't put all your attention on him, he's going to make a play to change the game. He's been a beast since he stepped into the National Football League. If you look at his game, it's not only just pass rush. He's a beast in the run game. He's chasing the ball down. He gets titles for loss. What makes him so Fuck, man! <laughs> Holy shit, bro! The block. No one figured it out yet. There's no formula, there's no recipe, but he's one of a kind. He's the best player in the NFL. Left football ball against the Niners. We're looking for the edge, and he ran into Aaron Donald. Fuck, look at him. Look at him trying to rip that ball out. God, he's got a lot of s strength, man. Explosiveness. Disruptive. Came away the football. 99 has it. Man. He just ripped the ball away from our running back. No doubt he ripped that out. Donald says that ball is... Bro! My goodness. That's a strong man. Man, my guy that's not the tallest guy. You know, I got the leverage, you know, I got the speed, I got the strength, so, you know, putting all that together with technique, you can do a lot of different things with that. What do you got to say about that, Val? Uh, yeah. Not a lot. He's unbelievable. As an end, I can watch him and still learn. It was just beautiful to watch. Man, we'll fly to him. <laughs> you don't want to go one-on-one -on -one with, with Aaron Donald, mate. No way. He's too fast, bruh. Way too fast. In fact, you know what? Let's look at exactly how fast he is. Aaron Donald, 40. Let's take a look at the day that was with defensive linemen at the NFL Combine and by proxy, Timmy Jernigan's upper body. All of it. Thanks, Timmy. Here's to Davion Clowney's official 4540, which technically makes him a Velociraptor. Damn! Here's Warren Sapp, terrified of the Velociraptor before him. Somehow lost in the Clowney shuffle, though, is Pitts Aaron Donald, who at 285 pounds runs an unofficial 465 and puts up 225 pounds on the bench 35 times. Like, that's a thing that just happens. Ugh. Ugh, what an absolute beast. What an absolute beast he is. Um, let's have a look at this. Fuck it. Four six six he got. At 285 pounds. Oh! 10 feet in the broad jump. 9-8. He's unassuming, isn't he? At this stage. This would be good. Run, 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 run. 
You wouldn't want to get one of those in the chest, would you? Damn, man, that's pretty fucking impressive. I'm not gonna lie. I need to know how tall he is. 6'1. Okay, 6, yeah, alright. Okay. As a lineman. As a tackle, defensive tackle at 6'1", he definitely has that leverage. But he's definitely got the weight behind him as well. He went the 13th pick. 13th pick the first round of the 2014 draft. He's been a Ram ever since. He's made the Pro Bowl every single year. He's made All Pro every year except for his first. One big step around the outside, eh? We're playing Seahawks and I did it and I got through. I just worked it more and more and I just kind of stole the jump chop club for Robert Quinn, so shout out to Rob. <laughs> this is when you in the air, you get the pressure a little bit more with this hand down. This is how you push yourself through a little bit more, so it, it works. It works, eh? Down he goes. <laughs> Who else but Aaron Donald? What's your favorite from last season? Um, we had a couple of big plays against the Chiefs. That was a fun game. <laughs> I got a one-on-one. -on -one. I hit him with a stutter. A little stutter. He stutters the offensive lineman to freeze him. They got me a little bit, so I tried to dip and rip, and I pushed off. I'm trying to bend the edge and he held a little longer and I just had to jump ahead and the ball came out. And he picked it up and scored a touchdown. See, how many other linemen are 6 1? Not that many, eh? The things he does on film, it, it looks like a cheat code. It's pretty crazy to watch the things he does and how fast he comes off the ball. Just the things that he can do physically, the way he can take over a game, and it's kind of a marvel to watch. Young guys watch him play, and I said, you know, the most dangerous thing you can do is watch that guy do what he does because you can't do it. <laughs> try to be the best version of you, try to figure out what works for you, but don't watch that guy and think that you're going to be able to pull those things off. He does so many things at an elite The people, the size of the men that he is moving, so easily is just incredible, isn't it? It makes it look easy. Then guys are like, oh, that looks pretty simple, but it, it's just it's just not. You try and move this guy. In my opinion, he's the MVP of the league, and I'm not just talking about defense. And he's how old? 28. Get out the way. Nice. This thing nice, man. Number one. <laughs> the detail, bro. Look at the detail, man. Look at the detail. Yeah, get another one next year. <laughs> oh shit, it's done man, it's done, the top 100, 
players of 2019. Oh, oh lordy. Oh lordy lord. What a time to be alive, guys. What a fucking time to be alive. Alright, you're coming with me. Oh. How was that, man? How was that? I think that was a whole lot of fun. I can't wait to do it next year already. <laughs> but uh, this is where we're at, guys. This is where we're at. 13th floor, St. Kilda, Melbourne. You know, it's uh, it's been a nice wee spot to have over the last three or four days. But uh, today, today is Wednesday. Wednesday the 21st of August and um, it's a wet well, I just said it's a Wednesday, but um, on Wednesdays, we have football training. So tonight at 6.30 or 7, 7 o'clock I think, I'm going to go down to my third ever football training. I'm going to bring the camera down and you guys will see that footage on the, on the, uh, the channel. Probably a hell of a lot sooner than what you're going to see this video. But anyways, my mission over the next few weeks is to get these all edited, get them all uploaded, all published for you guys and then, fuck who knows man. I'm just loving, I'm loving this journey, you know, the only reason I went so hard, so, so early on these reactions, I did hundreds, hundreds, because I saw a formula that worked, and I, I, I said, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hard on this, but the other main reason why I continue to do this, why I continue to, to have the passion for the sport, is because I wanted to play, I wanted to play so bad, I wanted to line up on the field, Feel what it actually felt like to, to you know, take contact with pads because it's completely different than rugby. I come to you guys as a rugby player, trying his absolute very best to, to delve into the world of American football and play, and that's exactly what we're doing. So this weekend, guys, this weekend is our first actual proper game, and it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. But it starts with practice, and that's tonight. So guys, I'm going to take my helmet off now. Uh, I'm going to wish you all farewell and say once again thank you for being here if you've liked the video hit the like button if you want to subscribe please do currently we're at just under 122,000 subs and I want to hit 200,000 by the end of the year I don't know how that's going to happen I don't know if it's even possible but with your help it may be and it starts by liking the video so with that being said guys peace out from Melbourne St Kilda actually, Melbourne, Australia and good night.